Number five, Led Zeppelin II. Recorded and released in 1969, Zep2 is the blueprint for all 70s hard rock to follow, where the guitar riff defines the song. Courtesy of Jimmy Page, Zep2 had riffs aplenty on blues-based tracks like Heartbreaker, The Lemon Song, and Bring It On Home. The softer side of Zeppelin also came out in tracks like Thank You and Ramble On. But the highlight of Led Zeppelin II, for me, will always be the bombast and psychedelia-based middle section of the classic Whole Lot of Love. Number four, Court and Spark by Joni Mitchell. Much like Neil Young's Harvest, Joni Mitchell's Court and Spark is the most commercially successful record for an artist to use to smaller audiences. But the 1974 album, which defies categorization and ventures equally well into rock, jazz, and folk, had three hit singles, Help Me, Free Man in Paris, and Raised on Robbery. I personally find the short title track to be an incredible piece of songwriting as well. Court and Spark is a record on which I continue to hear new things even today. Simply amazing. Number three, Neil Young, Everybody Knows This Is Nowhere. Everybody Knows This Is Nowhere is Neil Young's second solo record and his first with Crazy Horse. Something phenomenal happened when the songwriting, vocal talents, and guitar playing of Neil Young first meshed with drummer Ralph Molina, bassist Billy Talbot, and the late great guitarist and backing vocalist Danny Whitten. I think I'd like to go back home and take it easy. There's a woman the result was a group of songs like Cinnamon Girl, Down by the River, and the epic jam fest Cowgirl in the Sand. My personal favorite? It's the great title track, which paints a vivid picture in the way that only Neil Young can impart in a song. Number two, Who's Next by The Who. What can you say about Who's Next? Every song is a masterpiece, and perhaps is Pete Townsend's finest hour among many possible selections. The 1971 record's track list is mind-boggling. Bob O'Reilly, Bargain, Love Ain't For Keeping, John Entwistle's composition, My Wife, The Song Is Over, Gettin' In Tune, Going Mobile, Behind Blue Eyes, and Ending, Ending with won't get fooled again. Need I say more? A masterpiece of rock at its finest. Number one. The Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I can't imagine you surprised by my number one album of all time. There's a reason why Sgt. Pepper's is number one on so many lists. It's very hard to name another album that was so innovative or so influential. Changing the face of music nearly overnight on June 1st, 1967, Sgt. Pepper's also managed to alter the very cultural fabric of society as a result. Every song on the album could have been the greatest hit of any other band's entire career. It's every bit as listenable and relevant now as it was 40 years ago today.